Um, for example, if I go like this, Drums. and I take this and I say, hey, <laughs> all right, and I don't wash my hands, what am I going to spread to him? Germs. Germs, what's a, what's a computer word for it? Virus. Virus, yeah, man. So the question is, what is a virus? It's a what? Is it a computer cold? It's a computer yeah. germ. It's yeah. a computer germ, right? But how do you get a virus? Oh. From rubbing one computer on another? No. <laughs> no. Like, how, do you, how do you get a virus? You want to yeah. download something? Wait a minute. Download. Okay, so if you download something from where? Some place. What's the place that all Hacker. things come from? Well, app. <laughs> internet. The internet, yeah. Is the internet a friendly place? Sometimes. Sometimes. You gotta be careful while you're out there. You need protection. So, if you download something and you don't know where you're getting it from, it could have a virus built into it, right? Now, what does Why? a virus do to your computer? They slow it down. Slows it down. What else can it do? Hack it. They, they, someone who puts a virus can also hack into your computer. What are they trying to get out of that computer? Information. Your personal information. Your social Why? security number. Maybe your, your address. Maybe they want to know personal things about you, so should you just download any old thing? No. No. You got to be very careful. Also, what should you have on your computer to protect you from these viruses? Oh, uh, the firewall. Firewall. What's the two fam most famous security? Norton. Huh? Magic. Norton. Norton is one, and there's another one that's just as famous as Norton. Everybody has it out there. The other security system? Antivirus? It starts with an M. So, so it's Norton and this other one called Maccabee. 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 Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, so Norton and Maccabee. Now those two help to protect your computer. Now here's the thing. Most of the internet has a lot of viruses out there, so you want to be careful what you're down. Let's say your friend says, hey, I just got this new flash drive from my friend who I really don't know. Why don't we put it inside your computer and see what's on there? Is that a good idea? No. No! no. Especially if you don't have Norton and Maccabee because that flash drive could have a virus on it. Now, once you get a virus, it could cause your computer to slow down or it could completely shut your computer down. Okay? It's yeah. very dangerous. All right, so a virus basically is something that attacks what on your computer, though? What's the most sensitive, delicate part of your computer? CPU. The CPU. Okay? CPU. So the virus comes in, it attacks it, okay? It comes and attacks it, circles it around, and it tries to eliminate the CPU. Okay, yeah. But then, uh, can, can you, like, fix the computer? Yeah, sure. When you get sick, what do you take? Medicine. Medicine. Now, they got places where you take, they have computer doctors. Okay, now, computer doctors, what they do is they take your computer, they open it up, make sure the curtain's closed because you don't want to see the inside, and all of a sudden they find out what's going on inside, and they scan it, and they see where's the virus at. Now, some viruses you can fix them. Operation. It's kind of like operation. Now, if you want to make a lot of money when you grow up, you become a computer surgeon, okay? And what? you're one of those people that go in there and you fix computers when they break down. You ever seen anybody at your school call a computer technician? Oh, yeah. Okay, or a networker? Yeah. Those guys, they come in and they rewire computers and they hook them up. And they fix them when they break down, like when kids download UltraSurf. What's UltraSurf? UltraSurf, if you're when you get to high school, right, you're not allowed to view certain websites. You're definitely not allowed to go on Facebook. Okay? So the students that want to go on Facebook, what they do is they download something called Ultra Surf. Now UltraSurf is actually a man-made virus, but it's a cool virus because what it does is it gives you access to the internet and access to the websites that you're not allowed to see. But what's bad about it is that UltraSurf has a virus attached to it. So what happens is you can use it one time. But after that one time, it shuts down the whole computer. Okay, but the students don't realize that when they download it, they shut down a whole network of computers. Did you ever do that? I'm not yes. going to lie to that. Okay, because I was curious about it. But what you're noticing is that these cool websites, some of them that have the games on them, some of them have like, you know, like Justin Bieber, check him out. All of a sudden, according to the website, it has Justin Bieber, but then there's a virus attached. Then you go to turn on your computer the next day, it doesn't work. So you have to be very careful with viruses. Yeah. Oh, that, uh, I have to attack to your It happened to your computer? Because you're busy downloading stuff? No, my brother. Your brother, what did he download? I don't know, game. He must have downloaded a game and had a virus. So what we want to do is, number one, we want to make sure we know what we're downloading. 
We want to make sure we want to know who we're downloading from. Yeah. How do you know if a game or something you download has a virus? The first thing that's going to happen is if you have this on your computer, let me show you. As soon as you go to download something, a pop-up message happens, you know? So like, let's say I'm downloading clear computer screen. Looks like this. Here's the computer screen. Now I want to download. All of a sudden you get this box that goes, bloop. And it says, do you know who you're downloading from? And you either check yes or you check no. But what is this box coming from? It's coming from Norton, the security guy. He's saying, wait a minute, you're about to download something. Let's make sure we know who we're downloading from. Now, if you click yes, all of a sudden you're going to invite the virus. But if you say no, you protected yourself. But even if you click yes, right, if you have Norton, what will happen is once you allow that virus to begin to download, Norton's going to come in with the grenades. It's going to attack the virus. And it's going to be a no problem. Right? Really great. Yeah, really serious. And that's why it's very important to have it. You always, always want to have a security system on your computer. Now, if you're just surfing the internet, no security, it's just open season for you. The hackers love that. And a hacker, H-A-C-K-E-R, yeah. is someone that loves young people like yourself who like to download video games, play Tetris, they and do all these things. And yeah, because they see you and they say, well, look, this computer doesn't have a firewall. Let's hack it. Plant a virus, and then when mom and dad go on to pay the bills, we can take their credit card numbers. Just like that. So you have to be very careful. All computers must have security, okay? That's the main uh, thing. What? All right, when you go home today, you should ask your mom and dad on your laptops, do we have security on our computer to protect us from viruses and hackers? Yeah. Um, my technology teacher's husband is a hacker. Really? Oh, what? Uh, There's he actually... hacks hackers. Okay. Well, that's what they do. They actually have a job. That's another job. You want to make a lot of money. You basically, you're, it's a, it goes under the terminology of a networker, but what you are, you're a hacker. So what you do is you hack, you hack into hackers who try to hack into your system. And it's another form of security. Okay, so it's called computer security. All right? Hack hackers. Hack hackers. So, you're so you know, if I'm a hacker and I'm trying to hack in, you detect me. Like it's like hiding and go seek. We're going to see who's going to catch you first. So I see you're trying to get into my computer. So it's like, okay, I'm going to put up a firewall and block you. And then once I identify you, and what's your address?